Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another diagnostic video here. This is a 09 Jaguar XK. Uh, the customer complaint is that uh, he left the car for a couple of days and when it came back, it didn't want to start. So we are assuming it has a battery draw. The battery seems to be new and it's a good battery. It's an inner state, uh, so it's a good battery. Uh, I have a new tool to show too. This is the Fluke 190-204, a four channel oscilloscope and meter and recorder. The reason I got this tool is just because it's so easy. You turn it on and turn it off in seconds. You don't need to wait for boot or anything. So what I have right now is only two channels and I'm using the this um, scope. It has a availability or it can uh, plot the Input so you can see drops in uh, like a, we can see a little bit of a voltage drop in here, which is okay But you can plot on time and see if there's any spikes on the amperage or or Voltage so it's recording these uh, Scope the way it is set up right now. It can record this for 22 days, uh, which is amazing. We can also uh, stop we can view this on the PC, which I can, you know, connect via USB and show you guys. But for what we're doing here, it's not that important, not that deep. So it's not a problem. I can exit the recorder here. Hope you recorded that and the screen will be lost. It's not a problem. Nothing is happening. I want to show you. Okay, this is a, a color um, oscilloscope. And you can just click on meter. And the same values that we have will be shown as a, as a multimeter, a four channel multimeter isolated input, which is great. So you don't have to be careful on what you're doing. And as far as the speed, I want to show you this too. I just turn it off. And just to turn it on, that's as long as it takes to boot up again. It's just done. Connect your leads and you're good to go. No need to PC, no need to laptop. It's, it's very handy. Plus, it's a 200 megahertz, 2.5 giga samples per second. So you ain't going to miss anything. So let me go back to the recorder. So this is what I usually do here. And then uh, just click and enter. And this is, again, going to plot the, the inputs that we have to see if we have any uh, drops. It will have to be major. I also have a uh, microamp or mi milliamp clamp connected to the battery negative. And right now I only have two milliamps, two, three milliamps, which is not a problem. So I'm waiting for the spike to come. This car took like almost an hour to um, all the modules go to sleep. I was having like a six amps for the first 10 minutes. And then it went down to like 400 milliamps and then to like nothing. So I'm waiting for a huge spike in order to drain this battery. It has to be something big. Yes, as you can see, the battery voltage is not on the maximum. It's in 12.2. It's okay. This is a very strong battery. The car starts and run good. So I will recharge the battery if it's necessary later on. Hopefully it's not the case. And also, as you can see, the battery is on the back and the trunk. You need to remove the spare tire cover and then this cover, which is this one right here. It's just four um, plugs that you just kind of like unscrew, and it's pretty easy. You have also the DVD player at the back, which was also a concern for me. There might be a draw in there or so, but everything seems original. So we'll see. Again, I'm just going. I'm just going to wait on this and see what we have. I probably will um, upload those files on the PC to so you guys can uh, have a a better view of the capture. But I really, really like this this uh, this scope. As you can see right there, all inputs are isolated and it's up to 300 volts. So it's a Cat4. If you need to work in a hybrid, they sell this uh, attachment, so you can do that. But I have a special meter for hybrid, so I think the, for what I need, this is perfect. 
Hi right, guys, I got disconnected for a little over two hours. Um, I didn't actually see anything wrong with it as far as uh, the, the small clamp. It's still showing like six milliamps. But let's see what the plot has uh, to show us. So right now it's just showing what the window is showing, but I can also click in here and we'll see the whole record so we're looking at everything and there is no spikes the voltage is in 12.5 12.2 12 12.5 which is okay i mean that's nothing nothing wrong with that so i'm gonna talk to my manager service writer and see what they want to do because this is not happening at least not yet two hours is good enough 